Hello everyone. On this video, we will look at how to install Python onto your machine, specifically a Windows machine. Python is obviously a huge language in the world of development, and it's becoming increasingly more important in the world of data and data engineering. You don't have to be a pro, but to understand how it works fundamentally and get it going will be really helpful for you as you progress in your career. So to get started, we will go to downloads. In my case, uh, it's I don't know if it's just recognizing them on Windows or what, but it has this right here for Python 3.9, which is the most recent version. If you want to see prior ones, let's say you can't use this one because you're on an older version of Windows for some reason, you can go to all releases and it will give you all the history of the different um, prior releases that you can download. So I will do this here and it will automatically start downloading this executable. Let's open this up. And here's the basic screen. It says install now, um, install launcher for all users, sure. One thing that I think, especially if you're getting started, that will be really helpful is to add Python 3.9 to path. It will add it for you to your path so that you don't have to think about it. One less technical step to worry about and you should be able to run it right out of the box. Select the custom location or just let it do its thing here. Totally up to you, I'll just stick with the default. So now it's going to do its thing, install and download onto your machine. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, setup was successful. Let's close this out. Now let's go to our command prompt and, and see if it worked. Let's just write Python. There it is, it worked. And that's because we added it to our path variable, meaning all we had to do was write Python and it knew exactly what it was doing. So that's the benefit of having that, uh, selecting that option. Python 3.9, which is what we just uh, downloaded here. So now we're in, this is actually in a Python command prompt here. So we actually could say like, we'll print, hello, and it will do it. You, know, you can start to write Python commands in here. Now let's get out of this, exit. Now we're back in the regular um, command prompt. Another thing that comes with this is the IDLE, which is the Integrated Development and Learning Environment, which is pretty cool. So let's let's open this up. And it looks like this. Basically, it's going to just default you to a shell, which is very similar to what we were in here when we just wrote Python. And you see this top header here. It's it's kind of defaulting you to that. So you can you know write the same thing. It's just a little, a little nicer. Let's say we want to declare a variable name equals Mike. Oops, name. Let's try that again. It equals Mike. And then if we just write name, it will return it. So it's working. We're on Python. Print my name is at a space plus name. My name is Mike. Don't worry too much if you don't understand how you know, Python is actually working. The point is we have it installed and it's running. Uh, so now let's say we want to create a file. This is just a one-time thing of the shell. Let's say we want to create a file and do the same thing and run that file. I think that's the more interesting use case. You know, you could you know, then, then the, um, you know, you can do whatever you want at that point. So let's hop into Visual Studio. I have a folder here called demo Python. So we'll open this up and we're in here. So let's create a new file and we'll call this demo.py. The extension is .py when you want to indicate that it's a Python um, file. So let's create a file. Let's just do the same thing we just did where we said name equals Mike print Hello, my name is name. Now, if we go back to our uh, command prompt here, the first thing we'll want to do is navigate to the location where this file exists. So I'm going to copy this, type CD, which is change directory and that location. And now to run this, we'll say Python, meaning go to that executable location. So where, so it knows exactly what Python is and can run you know, any command associated to it. And then the name of the file, which is demo.py. Remember to add that extension. 
And there we go. It worked. It returned the name. It returned uh, exactly what we wanted. It said, hello, my name is Mike, and it replaced the variable. So all that to say, Python is working. It's installed, and you are good to go. At this point, it's whatever you want to do. You can create as complicated, as simple, you know, whatever of a Python script that you want and run it on your computer. Good luck. Now, obviously, this is the first step in hopefully many more steps of you learning Python and doing some cool stuff with it. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you got it up and running. Please uh, feel free to like, subscribe if you found this helpful, and I uh, will see you at a future video. Thanks for watching.